Hello everybody. In the previous videos, we solved the shock tube problem using the Lux Vendroff and the row schemes. We saw that the Lux Vendroff scheme was not appropriate to compute discontinuous solutions since they generate non-physical oscillations. On the other hand, row's upwind scheme takes into account the hyperbolic character of the system and allows a much better numerical treatment. We saw that in the shock tube problem, also called Riemann problem, two gases are separated by a diaphragm and when the diaphragm breaks, waves travel along the length of the tube. We also explained the essence of Godunov's scheme, which is based on the exact solution of the Riemann problem at each intercell boundaries. However, this procedure can be quite expensive from a computational point of view, and we prefer to use approximate Riemann solvers. The row scheme solves a linear Riemann problem between two cells, taking into consideration that flow variables are piecewise constant over each grid point. Higher order schemes can be obtained if, for each cell, we reconstruct left and right states using polynomials. This is the concept of the MUSCL scheme that we are going to discuss in this video. MUSCLE stands for Monotonic Upstream Centered Scheme for Conservation Loss, and the term was introduced by Van Leer in 1979. In his paper, he constructed the first high-order total variation diminishing scheme, where he obtained second-order spatial accuracy. Let's consider the following general discretization of a conservative problem, where the numerical flux f j plus one half is a function of the neighboring states of interface x j plus one half. Let us denote by u l and u r the values of the state vector respectively to the left and to the right of the interface j plus one half. A first order approximation is used in the rows scheme. To provide higher resolution of discontinuities, rows scheme can be extended to use piecewise linear approximations of each cell, which results in a central difference scheme that is second order accurate in space. It is possible to extend the idea of linear extrapolation to higher order reconstruction. In this case, the left and right states are estimated by interpolation of a second order upwind biased difference equation. This results in a parabolic reconstruction scheme that is third order accurate in space. The Musk reconstruction can introduce wiggles in the solution close to discontinuities. Wiggles are up down oscillations at the shortest wavelength representable on the grid. Rather than introducing an artificial and arbitrary viscosity to dump these oscillations, as in the case of centered schemes, Harten introduced the concept of total variation diminishing scheme that prevents the appearance of such oscillations. In this framework, a function Ψ that limits the slope of the piecewise approximations must be introduced to avoid the spurious oscillations that would otherwise occur around discontinuities or shocks. The limiter is equal to zero when r is less than zero and is equal to unity when r equals to one. The linear muscular reconstruction can be expressed in this form. Here I show several limiter functions. The main mod, Van Leer, Van Albada and Super B. The most robust limiter, but also the most dissipative one, is the main mod. The Super B version captures stiff shock fronts, but it is less robust. Let's now compare the Lux Vendroff, the Row and the Muscle schemes. We note that the last scheme is stable and the solution presents sharper profiles. The Python code that I used in this lesson can be downloaded from my website. If you want to learn more about numerical methods for fluid problems, don't forget to subscribe and check out my book. There you will find several examples written in Python and you will even be able to write your own three-dimensional CFD solver. See you in the next lesson.